Okay, I'm going to show you how to do this in Logic, but you can do it with any particular DAW. But the first thing you need to do is to go to Alan Heath's website and download their door control. Once you load that up in either your Mac or your PC, it'll come up with a control panel very much like this. And by the way, that comes with great documentation, so you'll be able to work this out on any particular DAW. But let's just go ahead and start out with um, logic. And the first thing we'd need to do as you're interfacing with any piece of hardware, you'd go underneath preferences to audio, and you would want to set that up to QU32. And once you've done that, we'll hit apply. Now we have our door connected to our DA, uh, sorry, to our QU uh, mixer. And here's what we need to do back on the QU. If we're underneath processing and we go underneath source here, you'll notice that all of these are set to local. Remember, you can select all or none here. I want to select them all to USB, not just USB, but USB B streaming. And we'll go ahead and close that. And now all of these input channels, they're normally set up to look to their local inputs. Now they're looking at USB. How is that, uh, how are all those tracks going to come in, in here? We've got the mixer side set up. We would need to go back in your DAW. And now you go to each of your tracks here. And normally, I mean, this I'm showing you in Logic, but it'll be very similar in whatever DAW. You're to select the track you want, and then you'll set that to its output. And go underneath mono here. I'm going to select that, set that to three. I've set this to three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and all of those there. Now, with all of these tracks, instead of them just being routed the left and right, now that they're sending out to these USBs, uh, once I hit play, yep, you can see them all lighting up the the um, uh, the Q series mixer right here. And that was because we set up our source to look to USB and then over on the DAW, we made sure all the outputs were, fe were feeding out to USB. So now let's set it up the other way. How are we going to get um, audio into our DAW? So I've set up a new audio track right here, and here it is right down here. Now, where is this going to get its input from? We're going to set up here. It's going to get its input from USB 1. Now we've got to go over onto our Q, uh, Q series and we need to go underneath setup here, IO patch, USB audio, and here is our USB channel one. Now what is going to be feeding that? I have set up my microphone here on channel number 25, so I'll just scroll through here until I hit 25 and I'll hit apply. Now I should be able to grab this mic and boom, there it is. We've got that coming in to the very first track and all we need to do is just arm that and uh, record. Okay, now let's see how we can remotely control the DAW transport. And that is done underneath control and MIDI and here's our control here. Now this will be different on particular, you know, whatever DAW you have. I'm in Logic right here, and that is underneath Project Settings and Synchronization. And if you go across to MIDI here, you can listen to MIDI machine control input. And with that checked, we should just be able to start and stop at DAW remotely from the screen right here. Okay, now let's look at how we can remotely control add DAW in terms of you know flying faders and all, all that kind of stuff. And that is done underneath the custom layer. So to get into the custom layer, we're going to go into the setup here and custom layer. And we'll select the very first one here and we'll just turn that all the way around until it hits MIDI. And you could do that to the second one and that would take a whole lot of time. But an easy way to do that is to just go ahead and hit the function and that will copy that all the way through here. So now you can see that all of these 32 are sending out through MIDI. So if we go back here and go to our custom layer, now these should be sending MIDI messages. And if you've noticed over here on the door control on the bottom 
uh, uh, bottom right hand side, you can see as I move, we are getting stuff going on over here. And as long as the protocol is Mackie control, we can make some changes over in our, um, in Logic Pro um, control services. So if you can see, I'm just trying to, rather than just saying, press this, press this, do this, do this. I'm trying to kind of build on what the flow is. The first thing you need to do is underneath uh, the, the, the custom layers, you need to set the custom layers to send out MIDI. And then when you sel select them over here, just by holding these both down, now you're in the custom layers. These are sending out MIDI messages. And as long as you have Mackie control, now it's made it as far as this. Now let's go into our DAW and we'll go to control services and we're going to set up and we're going to do a new, uh, we're going to install a new Mackie Designs Mackie Control and we're going to add that. And now we need to feed the Mackie Control, you know, in and out. So the output port needs to be door control MIDI 1. You can see something's happening. Door control MIDI 1 on the inputs and also the outputs. Now check out what happens. Boom, we can move things um, up and down. And not only that, it's it's actually bi-directional. You can grab any faders and all of, all of these faders and everything will move in both directions.